as a teenager, I seemed to spend a lot of time on my own messing around with electronic stuff or recording, doing a lot of recording of multi-tracking random stuff, you know, playing around with things. But I find that very hard these days. I prefer to work with other people. Growing up listening to music and, you know, my dad listening to a lot of prog rock with me growing up really influenced what I make. Realising that that's the, you know, the one, the one thing that keeps me awake or keeps me, like, alive, you know, is listening to other people's music has made me really want to, made me want to make it myself, you know. The way I work these days is to maybe write ideas myself and take them to different people, different groups, and then um, see where the other guys take it from there. Uh, so it's more of a collaborative process. So how are we going to play this? The best way that I, that I start a lot of shit is chopping up a drum break. Right. And we'll see, see, how we, see how we go with that. Cool. And um, make a really nice kind of drum thing. Okay. And we work around it. Cool. So I'll find something really nice that I like. I definitely didn't want to make anything depressing today because I knew <laughs> I knew that like whenever I work with like talented strings musicians, I yeah. always tend to do some stuff that's really really um, melancholy, really melancholy and really depressing. So I wanted to make sure I picked like a drum yeah, break yeah, yeah, that yeah, was at least a little bit like ah you know yeah. a little bit <laughs> a little bit party. If uh, if you just want to fucking jam Play a little bit on that, yeah, yeah. see what you're saying, and then if if I hear something, then cool, I'll cool. just kind of pick it out. Just drop the levels, but a bit more. Sorry, a bit up. <laughs> it's good. Thanks. Now do it. Great for the second verse. Coming to do, you know, madness. Work. Yeah, fantastic. Four hours work, actually. Yeah, nice and easy. Yeah.